Did you know that your toaster oven can make a great drying rack? I just set this clay dish on top of my toaster oven, plus the undermount lights on my counter help to dry them out quickly. All right, today we are going to take these dried herbs that you have seen, where I put them just in a lovely ceramic baking dish, and I let them dry under and over two things, over my toaster oven, and under a counter that has undermount lights. Uh, I don't use a dehydrator because I'm not always in a real rush. So we're gonna take these apart today and put them in a jar. Hold on. So just a couple things you'll need. If you have labels, that would be great. If not, some dry erase markers, any jars that are clean and washed. And of course, you know, just some tongs and simple tools. I had a hand towel just to clean up some of the little crumbs. Now after I've removed all the leaves from their stems, you saw me chop it up finely, but you can use again any clean jar. I save my glass jars because they're so nice to preserve things. Go ahead and just fill up your jars with these lovely dried greens. And you will have them. Gosh, I still have some from last year and they're just as tasty and pungent as they were when I put them in originally. And after I've got them all jarred up, I then got a little label. You don't need one, but I got a little label. And I just added on there that it was an Italian mix because I do have just parsley, just oregano, just basil. So I thought I better put Italian on here. So pretty. So this has been Gretchen the Green Lady saying get out there, enjoy your gardens, get your hands dirty. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe.